Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a PHP video tutorial for the new Boston. Now in this video tutorial, I'm going to be talking about code indentation, what code indentation is and why it should be used. Now, for an example, let's take a look at the following file. I've got index2.php. Now this file uh, works, it works perfectly in fact apart from one thing I've just spotted and um, if name equals str to lower this needs to change str to lower okay so I always forget something um, okay so the file that we're looking at now works perfectly let's go ahead and open our browser and test it okay so let's open that up okay so it says you're over 21 yes one e is equal to one so let's go back to our code and see why so if the name <clears throat> the string name uh, to lower blah 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 it doesn't really matter uh, what the code looks like is equal to Alex then do this uh, echo this part of the code otherwise say you're not Alex so if we change this name here to say Dale and we refresh it says you're not Alex so the code works that's essentially all we need to know for now now the problem with this is the way that we have not indented it so there's no code indentation therefore it's hard to see where an if start if statement starts and where an if statement ends so if we needed to make modifications to a program um, it's going to be a lot harder if we don't use code indentation now there's 14 lines to this program can you just or this uh, code this page or script if you like imagine if we had 1400 lines and we didn't use indentation you can imagine how awful it's going to look and how messy it's going to look so let's go ahead and look at index.php which is a duplicate of this however I've created line indentation for each uh, well, where it's necessary Okay, so what I've done is after the first if statement, I've indented to make a new if statement. So if, um, and then inside here we've indented. And now inside this if statement, I've indented all the code here. Okay, so the if statement, uh, everything by default starts on uh, without being indented. We've made the first if statement so the block I can already tell is just from the start of this I here down to here so this is the start of the block and this is the end of the block here and uh, this is the start of the top block and this is the end and then we say else so inside of this block here where we're saying is age greater than or equal to 21 this is inside and we can automatically tell that because we've got straight down here straight down here and straight down here and then we've indented just the echo inside of here so you can see so you can see how code indentation makes a whole lot of difference when you're trying to view a file so for example if i want to say if age does not is, is you know saying if age is greater than or equal to 21 i want to say well maybe i want to create an if else statement rather than just an if statement let's go down and we can automatically see that's the end of the block and we can start typing on here my um, text editor automatically indents for you uh, I think notepad plus plus is a lot better at that, that this than context uh, as well as a variety of that of other editors but now we can just type in something here not over 21 for example and when we change this uh, to say 16 we know that our um, our program is going to work because we've already seen the indentation and um, we've created the co uh, we've created the program to um, to work um, according to uh, these and the indentation just makes everything a lot easier to see so always use indentation in your code it's part of the coding standard which um, is very important when you're looking at, at code especially when you're going to be distributing code or you need other people to read code you may understand how your code works and it may work in fact so you might think why do I need to indent um, and everything like that well the answer is is that if other people do need to see your code or if you need to make quick modifications to your code it's going to be a lot easier to see if you've used uh, indentation